All right, so uh, the primer um, finished drying, and it actually didn't take very long on these parts um, for it to, to set up. Usually a full, uh, a full cure is probably about 24 hours or so. Uh, but this, this seemed, seemed nice and, and uh, uh, wasn't tacky or anything. So uh, we went ahead and uh, sprayed the parts with this uh, gloss black, um, as you can see here. So uh, this um, is actually a, uh, a chassis, um, a specific chassis paint. It's made by Autobahn. Uh, it's called Chassis Armor Gloss Black, and uh, it is wet right now, so that's why it has that shine, but once it dries, it still has that same shine. It actually looks like um, it's, uh, it's wet, so I uh, just kind of went through and, and, and sprayed all these parts. As you can see, they look, it looks really good, and uh, so what we'll end up doing is... Uh, any parts that you know we want to spray black, we're probably going to use this paint on. Um, in fact, got a fan shroud down here, as you can see. Uh, this is the the engine fan shroud. I need to do some TLC to it. It, it looks all rusted and everything, as you can see. Um, but uh, that is very similar to the way all of these other parts uh, were. We actually ended up um, wire brushing a lot of them. Uh, like these two guys right here, ended up wire brushing them and really wire brushed most of it. But after getting all the dirt off, we took it and we put it down in this uh, electrolysis bath. And so basically, uh, it's just water and uh, some soap, and you hook up these leads to it and you leave it for, uh, you know, overnight if you want to, or a couple hours, depending on uh, what. Uh, how big the piece is and it pulls all the rust off of it so uh, basically we we got all the rust off of it any excess especially like on those brake drums we used um, phospho uh, or which is phosphoric acid you brush it on there and it turns the uh, the metal um, that's good white and it turns the rust black and it does a chemical re reaction to basically get rid of the rust and then you paint over it and you're and you're good so Again, that's, uh, that's kind of what we did there. We've painted these parts up. Th these are all of our, uh, our front end uh, parts. We've got uh, the control arms, the, uh, the front uh, brakes, um, uh, the drop spindles, all that kind of stuff. And so we'll, uh, once all these dry, uh, we'll start. We've got a couple of other, other parts that are coming in. We're gonna lower the front end. We're actually gonna take these two um, uh, strut inserts. These on the 72 Super Beetle, it used McPherson struts. And so these are actually upside down. Uh, you've got the struts in insert that goes in like a shock that goes in. Uh, and then you have a big spring, coil spring, that goes over the top of that. So we're actually um, going to take out about two inches or so right here. Going to cut that out and lower this thing. Uh, and we've got some, uh, some shorter strut inserts coming. And that way we'll be able to lower the front end. Uh, about two inches or so. We're still playing around with how uh, how far we're going to lower it. Um, the Super Beetle sits at uh, uh, ground clearance, they say, is about 6.3 inches, and they say that the front end uh, has always sat about an inch and a half or so higher than the back end, is at least what we're reading and what we're told. Again, I'm not an expert on it. This is our first go around with it, but uh, they say it sits up about an inch and a half uh, higher than the back end. And if you've got really old strut inserts in the front, then it might sit level. But once you put brand new ones, it's going to push it back up. So uh, we're going to lower this front end and really uh, get it to, to looking good. So uh, that's kind of what we did with these uh, uh, as far as spraying the parts here. It's really going to look good and more to come later. Thanks.